My name is Annie. I've been coming to Meadowbrook for just over two years. So I moved from Colorado to Milwaukee uh, about two years ago, and around the same time I became a Christian. Um, it was shortly after I became a Christian that I was called to move um, here to Wisconsin to be closer to some extended family. Uh, so I had never really been to a non-denominational church. I didn't know what they looked like, so I actually ended up texting a cousin and asked her where she went to church, and she said, oh, just come to church with me, and so I ended up at Meadowbrook. I would articulate my faith journey from childhood as seeking ultimate truth. I was raised Catholic and um, always had bigger questions I was asking. As I grew up and left my parents' house, I started exploring other Eastern spiritualities. I studied Buddhism, Taoism, um, all the while trying to look for the, the thing that was truth and uh, just finding a lot of emptiness in a lot of those spiritualities, empty promises. The simplicity of the gospel of Jesus Christ never made sense to me until it did. I asked a question, um, just started noticing that the people who followed Jesus had this something that in all of my searching, many different religions that I didn't have, and it's something hard to put your finger on, but I guess you could call it hope, um, joy, peace in the hard times, and um, asked a Christian friend of mine, what does it look like to follow Jesus? And now I know she was very excited in that moment uh, because she knew that my salvation was very close, that I was asking that question. And so on the other end of the phone, she's flipping through the Bible, trying to you know, find the right verses to help pray over me in that moment. And she just said, it's really easy to follow Jesus. All you need to do is turn away from the darkness, from your sin, and turn toward Jesus. We call that repentance and state your belief in him. And in my head, I was like, oh, I'm not ready to do that. You know, I need more research, more data points. But the Holy Spirit called me in that moment and we prayed. After that point, my life changed completely. I think after the pandemic, being a young single person, part of what I was experiencing was loneliness. We didn't really have a young adults ministry, so I slowly started to feel the call to create something. And I met with Brian, the pastor, a couple of times, and I had all these ideas for how to create, you know, what I wanted to create, and I think that was the Lord moving and shaping me to do His will and not mine. Every time I tried to do something, it, it failed, and as I l leaned more on the shoulders of the Lord, something started to create out of his power and not mine. Um, out of that came the Young Adults Ministry, which is now a couple months strong and about 50 people. So the call to be baptized came because I started to be in a bit of a spiritual leadership role um, to other young women, even though I was a young, am a young believer myself. You don't find the right time to get baptized, you just do it when you believe you take that step to make that outward declaration and there's no right time or place. And so after that was put on my heart, I um, decided to take that step here at Meadowbrook. I think the part of giving both from a financial perspective and of my time that I connect with is, is not so much what I receive, but the heart transformation that happens when you turn outward. There's a lot at Meadowbrook um, that has been created with the gifts both time and financial. But I think the heart transformation that happens when you're a part of that giving is so much bigger um, because we are the church. I think a, a young Christian, we think about what we can receive from Jesus and what he needs to do for us. But as I've started to walk more with Jesus, I just learned that it's about what I'm doing to build the kingdom. Of course, it all belongs to him, but um, Everything that he gives to me is his, so uh, naturally um, I want to invest that back where I'm getting so much out of it. My hope for Meadowbrook for the future uh, is that we live out our call. As a church we say um, we're here to become fully devoted followers of Jesus, and I think if we are all truly doing that, um, it's a growth process to become a fully devoted follower of Jesus, but imagine a church full of hundreds of people who are working toward that. and in five years progressively getting closer to him, what it looks like for our community and for this church uh, is really, truly transformational. So I know that we're all dedicated to that and I'm excited to be a part of it.